Hi there, dear learners. We now focus on ocean currents. As you can note the image on your screen with the reference to ocean currents. Port Nollet and Durban are both close to the 29 degrees south parallel and both are on the sea coast. As you can note, this is the eastern side where the water flows from the equator downwards called the Agalus Current. And this side is the alternate Benguela Current that flows along Port Nollet. There is, however, a difference of six degrees in the mean annual temperatures. Now, dear learners, kindly note the table here to your left. Port Nollet is showing mean annual temperature of 20,4 degrees Celsius. That's in Durban, our area. Port Nollet shows a mean annual temperature of 14,4 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we have the difference of 6 degrees Celsius. This is because the warm Agalus current warms the coast at Durban. The cold Benguela current flows along the coast at Port Nollet. Higher temperatures are experienced on coast with warm currents. Cold currents result in lower coastal temperatures. Furthermore to temperature, ocean currents are generally driven by prevailing winds that blow over them. Currents from equatorial and tropical regions are warmer and raise the temperatures of areas along the east coast of continents as shown in the map below. Currents from polar regions are cold and lower the temperatures of areas along the west coast of continents. With reference to rainfall, dear learners, ocean currents can also influence rainfall. Where winds blow across a warm ocean current, they will carry moist air to the land. The water vapor will condense when the air rises over mountains. For example, look at this image below. Westerly winds blowing across the warm North Pacific current, note in this picture, bring heavy rain to Vancouver, marked V on your map and to the inland mountains. In the same way, Western Europe has high rainfall because westerly winds carry moisture from the warm North Atlantic drift. Areas along the east coast of continents generally receive more rainfall than areas along the west coast. Of continents because they receive more moisture from warm ocean currents. Learners with reference to this image on your screen, ocean currents of the world. As you can notice the key on the left, the warm currents represent your red arrows and your cold currents represent the blue arrow. We are situated here at the bottom. Here's Africa, and we are situated around here, where you would find the cold Benguela current on this side and the warm Agalus current here. Thank you, dear learners. Kindly attempt the activity that follows. Take care.